Today I'm going to take these hideous looking RV curtains. They're all worn out, they're, they've got flowery purple on them, and totally not my style. And I'm going to replace them with brand new blue blackout curtains. Alright, so here are the curtains. I'm going to have somebody hold this. Um, but what they do is they have these little tracks. And this purple is ugly. And so, designed to go on the, like this, up and down, and they're all worn out, and I can't stand the color. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take them all off, and then I'm going to, this is a sewn-in liner, and so I'm going to just uh, snip the, all the threads, and then replace all of these with new curtains and then bring it up. One thing, you can see the light behind it. So I'm gonna replace them with blackout curtains. Be like dark blue on the inside with white on the reflective side. And that will reflect uh, a lot of the heat out and also make it dark. Because when I go camping, what the issue is, is since they're not blackout, my all the other neighbors have their lights, like their porch lights on all night long. And you can see that this is in the daytime. See how bright that is? Well, that's what I look at at night. And so I want to be able to sleep. So I'm going to replace all of these. And they're, they're all the same type of thing. They're all worn out. Now that one's got a, that's got a stopper uh, that I'll have to take out. Those are some screws. All right, well, I'll do that later. So I went down to Walmart and I got this here for $10 and they're rated as blackout but they don't have the white on the back like I wanted. And so they're not quite as good as I was expecting but maybe they were just out of stock. So I'm going to lay this down on the floor and try and cut these out a little bit bigger so that when I fold the seams back that it'll be the correct size. So I'll just take one of the bigger ones. What I want to do is cut it a little bit longer so that when I fold it back over, its final dimension is here. So I don't think I need to really measure the first one, but I'll definitely have to measure the second one. Okay. Uh, using the other one as a template, I got the final length and I'm going to fold it right here and then I've got two pins on it. And then now I'm going to go back and I'm going to fold in that other one so that it has a nice seam and then I'll sew it on the sewing machine. Looks like I can, you know what? I can just rip that out because all it's doing is breaking the threads. Oh, that works much easier. Okay. Now that it's all pinned to exact size, I'm now going to sew that fabric there around itself so it's nice and neat. And then I'll sew on the track after I'm done with this. Well, that worked out pretty well. Let's see if I sewed in. Looks like I did not sew in any wrinkles. That's a good sign. Okay. All right, so what I did here is that I found that I can bias this needle to the left. I'm on a Bernina 1008, and I can bias this to the left. So that means that I should be able to sew all along the length and still have enough room to clear these. Let's give it a try. Now, bear in mind, I am an amateur sewer. So if you think you can do it better, you would be right. Too bad.
Now I'll just repeat that on the other side and then we should be about ready to do our snaps. All right, to punch the hole, you need to have this round part and then you need to get the hole punch. Let me get my snaps here. So I've got a pin here to mark the location. Remember pliers like that, so you got a hole punch. Let's see if it works. Oh, that works great. Alright. So let's do the other one while I have the tool. Okay. So now we have take out this cutter part on the bottom. And then you replace it with this uh, black part right here. And then that you put your button in there like that. Now I gotta get the order right so we install it so the button goes through a little hole. And then the females right here. Let's put the females on. And then what that'll do, if you look in there, that will spread that out and then we can just squeeze that down in there. And that will spread it out. And then I found that some of these might need to be sort of trimmed, but that's all you have to do to install that button. Pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, that's good and tight. Okay, ready to hang them. Alright, there they are. And the bottom I left long and it works just great. So I never even had to trim it. And then I've got my snaps there all the way across. And then down. And so that works great. Now I can just raise and lower these now. And they slide up and down. Now the way this is designed to work is to have another snap here so you could raise them up and then you do a reverse snap. You do a strap with a reverse snap for the cloth that goes the way around. Since all three of mine were gone, I just decided to leave it on this one. So I'm going to leave it like it is for now and then I can always unsnap it and then lower them if I want to and just put them at the bottom of the track right here. Now on the other windows I do have the double snaps and so for these that I raise and up and down very frequently I'll go ahead and put the straps on but I'll do that on the next project. But at least for now I've got one window pretty much done. So I saved a ton of money. Uh, each window is going to be approximately $10 so I think that's pretty cool. So anyway I'll see you next time.